Okay, number four, we're gonna prove the identity. Again, I'm gonna start with the left-hand side. When I see tan, I often right away start thinking of sine over um, cos, so that's what I'm going to um, look at. So left-hand side here, one plus, so instead of tan squared theta, I'm gonna write it as sine squared theta over cos squared theta, divided by tan squared theta is sine squared theta over cos squared theta. All right, so what we need to do is we still have two terms up here, right? We wanna make sure we add these. So right now it's like one over one. So I'm gonna just ignore that for a second. I'm gonna just add the top here. So I wanna get a common denominator. So between one and cos squared theta, cos squared theta is my common denominator. So that means I need to multiply one by cos squared theta. So I get cos squared theta plus, I already have my denominator there, so just sine squared theta. Nothing has to change here. I only have one fraction in the denominator. So I'm gonna leave that as is. Now, when you're running this, maybe you recognize that's gonna equal one. So we have one over cos squared theta divided by sine squared theta over cos squared theta. So I'm gonna multiply my, um, multi multiply by the reciprocal because that's how we're gonna do our division. So we're gonna write the reciprocal and that gets me the cos squareds to cancel out and I get one over sine squared theta, which is cosecant squared theta. So we have our right-hand side. Okay, so we finished that question. I like to show this one in two different ways. In case someone recognized with the left-hand side, if you were looking at your formula sheet, you'll notice on your formula sheet that one plus tan squared theta is equal to secant squared theta. So you could have replaced that with secant squared theta right away. Okay, so if I do that, let's see what would happen. So now I'm gonna write these as reciprocals. So secant is one over cos squared theta. Tan squared theta is sine squared theta over cos squared theta. And now I'm gonna multiply by the reciprocal. So those cancel and I get one over sine squared theta and equals cosecant squared theta. So I get there a little bit faster, but maybe you didn't think of that method right away. It's not gonna matter as long as you get the right pathway. We still have our right hand side. Take a second to read our little joke, protect yourself from identity thief or theft.